everybody, I'm Jackie Jing with Alex Osborne, Hello. and Variety reports that Andy Muschietti, the director of IT, will also be directing an Attack on Titan live action adaptation for WB. The big question though is, do we need another Attack on Titan live action movie? We don't, <laughs> um, but I'm hopeful, Okay. very cautiously optimistic. Yeah. I love Attack on Titan, I know you love Attack yeah. on Titan as well. Um, it's had a rough patch with some live action uh, two-part film mm -hmm. uh, from Japan that was... Yeah, that movie's awful, the 2015 yeah. one, yeah. But the director here, Andy Muschietti, who directed last year's It, an amazing horror film, has me super excited. So the talent of the director and also the backing of WB, who's got a great, huge budget that can really fund this and make it look right. Um, yeah, I'm really hopeful. So, um, when I first saw the news, I was like, oh my god, no, no, we don't need another one. But then, when I saw that Andy Muschietti was going to be directing, I was really intrigued. I was like, okay, he's a great storyteller, WB is behind this, so that's a bigger studio, hopefully a bigger budget. But I think when it comes down to it, it, it needs to be a good story and they cannot slack when it comes to technology and it has to be a big budget. Like, the visual effects cannot stink. What right. do you think? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. The maneuver gear flying around. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be, it'll be a real challenge. And the Titans. Um, I think where the 2015 one lacked um, was that I just I just thought the Titans looked silly. Like, you know what I mean? And it, that's such a challenge. I mean, anime is one of those mediums where the possibilities are limitless. You know what I mean? Right. Like, you can have all these different genres, whether it's like mecha or fantasy, whatever. And the Titans are just like these already bizarre looking creatures. And so I'm, I'm just like creatively as a director I just I don't even know how they'd approach that like right. I don't even know what he would do yeah I didn't even see the uh, live-action one yeah but don't read, worry you didn't miss anything yeah I read Miranda's review yeah. and she said actually one of the biggest issues with it what with it was that uh, the characters didn't get much development yeah and uh, Andy Muschietti and it the characters he really he's able to balance the horror and the thriller and the suspense with really great characters and development so I think Hopefully we can we can strike that right balance. But like you said, I think my biggest concern is the special effects and really being able to translate something that can really only be done in animation. How do you bring that to live action? I I don't know. I know. So we'll have to see what Andy Muschietti does. Um, you're a huge fan of the movie It, though, and I think uh, something big that Andy needs to do here is that this movie, the Attack on Titan live action movie, like it cannot be silly. It cannot be ridiculous. Like we can't be watching it and just being like, what the heck's going on? It has to be terrifying and it has to be gory. And I mean, it delivered in that case, right? Right. Yeah. Um, so the other thing that I really like about Andy Muschietti is that he really took liberties with the story. Um, like with the Stephen King novel, like he read it and he thought it was chilling and terrifying. He loved the 80s movie, but he was like, okay, like I have to make this my own story and it has to chill people to their core. I mean, what do you think story-wise that he needs to do? You're saying like strong character development, like anything else? Right, well, I think any successful adaptation is one that takes some liberties with the source material. Um, so I think it's just a matter of looking at that core story and uh, figuring out where to go. I think there's a strong cast of characters in the anime. I don't think you necessarily have to throw out those characters and tell an entirely different story, but I think maybe um, playing with the structure, um, playing with sort of the narrative direction could work in some interesting ways. What I wonder is if they're going to it, it's gonna be like a trilogy or like a series or something mm. like that because we already know this is an expansive story right. you know what I mean what, what would you like to see I would like to see uh, I mean obviously the first one would be a test bed and mm -hmm. you'd want it to be something that would be conclusive in a way but also open the possibilities for more yeah I mean we've seen with Warner Brothers like the conjuring universe like who knows what kind of you know expansive like multi film sort of universe they could create mm -hmm. here yeah, but the first one has to be good. Right. All right, well, we'll see what Andy does there. But do you want another live action adaptation of Attack on Titan? Tell us in the comments section. And don't forget to check out our other videos. We have an interview with the showrunner of Castlevania and a reaction to season two. And as always, be sure to follow and subscribe to IGN wherever you like to watch.